I will real deal kill you, my nigga. I will real deal kill you, my nigga. And I ain't the only one here, too, nigga. We got a whole army in this hole. <laughs> pull up right now. It's five minutes away. All right, pull up right now. Man. I love the Kansas City Chiefs, man. Because whether it's on the field drama or off the field drama, the Kansas City Chiefs are really freaking entertaining. And we have a bunch of news to bring out to you guys, including them signing a guy that literally threatened to end someone's life on his Instagram story and a very troubling arrest that involved a linebacker breaking a vacuum in a domestic situation. Now, before we get to the content, I'm giving away $500 to any of my followers onto Instagram. If you could also, Take a moment to leave a like, consider subscribing and turning on our notifications. I'm making this video while in the process of moving. This is probably my last video here. Now that we get all that out of the way, break. Between creating content, working out, my social life, and the fact that I just moved, it can be very difficult to not take the easy way out when it comes to preparing your food. And usually the easy way out results in a lot of calories, which is why I partnered with Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have a team of gourmet chefs that create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. They have a variety of options like keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan, plus veggie options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. Personally, I love their strawberry banana smoothie. Hmm, because it tastes like an actual strawberry banana smoothie. No added sugar or other crap that these other food companies are putting in their product. By combining factor with weight training, cardio, and an intermittent fasting diet, I was already able to lose five pounds in my first week. So head to go.factor75.com slash plans and use code microphone120 to get $120 off of your first five weeks of meals. That's go.factor75.com slash plans and promo code microphone120 to get $120 off of your first five weeks of meals. And thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Mike check 1212 what's going on, everybody? There are so many connections to every single person in this video that I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the Las Vegas Raiders. This past week has been absolutely insane for them. For one, their interim head coach, Rich Basaccia, is being interviewed for the full-time gig, which if you're a Raiders fan, let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see this team continue forward with Rich Basaccia as the full-time head coach. It seems like it's a very polarizing debate because on one hand, you have this rumor that Jim Harbaugh might leave Michigan if he's offered the Las Vegas Raiders job to return to the NFL. At the same time, you have people saying that that's just a publicity stunt just so he could get signed to a bigger contract at Michigan. I also feel like given everything that happened this past year, the fact that Rich Bisaccia was able to get this Las Vegas Raiders team into the playoffs is a huge testament to success. But unfortunately, that's not how Mark Davis felt about Mike Mayock, the ex-general manager of the Las Vegas Raiders, as Mike Mayock was dismissed and fired. And his firing brings in a lot of questions. Some people say he was a horrific general manager that missed on a lot of his picks. Other Others say that the team was net positive and he made some picks that were very successful like Max Crosby and ultimately the Las Vegas Raiders got better during his tenure there. Those same people that defend Mike Mayock say that the main reason that he made those horrible picks like drafting Cleveland Farrell with the number four overall pick which I'm sure every Raiders fan was screaming at their TV to draft Josh Allen over Cleveland Farrell or drafting Henry Ruggs over the likes of CeeDee Lamb which that wasn't nearly as bad until what happened to Henry Ruggs. And then many people thought that the player that we're gonna be discussing in this video, Damon Arnett, was a bit of a reach. Needless to say, Mike Mayock didn't have a lot of success in the first round. Whether that's because John Gruden had final say on his picks or not is a different conversation to have. But ultimately, this video is primarily about one of those picks that Mike Mayock made shortly after he selected Henry Ruggs, and that's Damon Arnett. Now, if you don't know the story of Damon Arnett, this man was drafted with the 19th pick in the 2020 NFL draft. This was one of the picks that the Chicago Bears traded in return for Khalil Mack, and it was seven picks after Henry Ruggs being selected. And ironically, very shortly 
after Henry Ruggs had a tragic DUI incident where the dumbass literally got drunk at Top World Golf, drove 150 miles per hour, crashed into a poor woman who literally got incinerated alive with her dog, the player that got drafted literally seven picks later got himself into hot water literally seven days later. A video of Damon Arnett threatening somebody with a weapon literally a gun leaked onto social media. And if you haven't seen this, here's a censored version of it, but I'll put the full version on my Instagram, which is uncensored. That shit, five minutes away. Pull up, Lane. I swear to God, I will kill you, nigga. <laughs> on everything I love, I will kill you, nigga. You talking crazy. Talking <laughs> about that shit five minutes away. Bro, you... The Like, I real deal kill you. I real deal kill you, my nigga. I will real deal kill you, my nigga. And I ain't the only one here, too, nigga. We got a whole army in this hole. <laughs> pull up right now. It's five minutes away. All right, pull up right now. And as a result, the Las Vegas Raiders had to cut two of their first round picks within a span of seven days. Now, unlike Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett actually got a second chance. The Miami Dolphins signed him to his practice squad, and we just got some breaking news that the man literally got a team upgrade. I'm not kidding. According to Field Yates and verified by Adam Schefter, the Kansas City Chiefs have signed former Las Vegas Raiders first round cornerback Damon Arnett to a reserve slash futures contract. Now this is a very polarizing signing because of something that is going down in Kansas City currently. On one hand, you might look at this and say, okay, here's a guy that messed up that needs a second, that could get a second chance. He's a former first round pick. He's 25 years old. If you put him in a winning culture like the Kansas City Chiefs, where there has been multiple players that Andy Reid has taken a chance on in the past that have had suspect pasts. I mean, you, just off the top of my head, you have Tyron Matthews, you have Tyreek Hill. And of course, in the past, Andy Reid took a flyer on players like Terrell Owens and Michael Vick. And in that sense, a lot of NFL fans feel some kind of way about the fact that the Kansas City Chiefs consistently signs such questionable talent. And typically, I would let that go, but here's the interesting part about this entire situation. A couple of days ago, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Willie Gay, who started 19 games for the team over the past two seasons, was arrested. This comes literally four days before for Kansas City's playoff game against Buffalo. Jail records show that the 23 year old was arrested by the Overland Park Police Department in Kansas at 10.30 p.m. He was booked on a charge of criminal damage roughly two hours later. According to jail records, Gay is still in custody. He has a court date scheduled for later Thursday afternoon. As time progressed forward, a representative for Gay said that the football player was arrested after he broke a vacuum during an argument with the mother of his child. Willie was at his son's house visiting. He and the mother got into an argument during which he broke her vacuum. Now, the altercation did not turn physical. No one was touched. Nothing happened before the broken appliance. She called the cops about it and they took him in on a misdemeanor destruction of property less than $1,000. Now, you might be wondering, how does this all tie together to the Damon Arnett situation? Well, historically, Andy Reid has taken risks on this type of talent, on players like Damon Arnett. It's just in this this instance, the timing is very questionable. The last thing you need is additional off the field distractions based upon what happened to the Kansas City Chiefs this season. I mean, I'm serious. I think the Chiefs are a Jackson Mahomes TikTok dance away from getting their asses kicked in the playoffs, especially considering the fact that they have an impending AFC championship rematch against the Buffalo Bills. And did you see what the Buffalo Bills did to the New England Patriots defense? I mean, this is a team that is out for revenge. I I hope this is the final stop for Damon Arnett. I hope he finds success in Kansas City. I hope that everything is going okay in Willie Gay's personal life. And honest to God, I hope Jackson Mahomes gets banned off of TikTok. What I'm trying to say is that the timing for this is a little questionable, but Andy Reid has a history of doing it. So if you're a Chiefs fan, how do you feel about this? Do you feel like the upside of Damon Arnett is worth the potential distractions off of the field from Damon Arnett? Or do you think his incident is a one-off case where he probably learned from his mistakes and this isn't that big of a deal. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.